Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, Angels. Good afternoon, Jenny. Jenny is from Thailand. She has been with us for quite some time. So she is uh, previously working with one of our 10 year VAs, but unfortunately, the VA decided to stop working with her for uh, due to personal reasons. So we have to let her go. But Jenny needs you guys. So she is looking for another rock star VA to help her out. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get started. Um, would you mind uh, introducing a bit of yourself, Jenny, before we sure. get started with the questions? Thank you. <sighs> so hi, everyone. Um, uh, I'm Jenny, uh, have a degree in psychology, and my main uh, program is helping people to learn emotional intelligence skills so that they can be happy and peaceful and get stuff done and have good relationships and all those good things. Um, so I'm mainly looking for a VA at this point to set appointments for our sales consultants. Um, and do a little bit of social media and, and stuff like that. But the main responsibility is really the appointment setting. Uh, so shall I just kind of rock and roll on questions, Naomi? Uh, yes, please, Jenny. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so maybe could each of you just in turn give me a little bit of your background, um, your, your work history, um, and as particularly any experience you have in setting appointments in any of your work history. Um, Jenny? Hi, Jenny, you have the same name. How are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, uh, in regards with um, doing uh, like the thing that you are looking, I am already working in the quantum for quite some times. And I um, manage also with the social media uh, social media of one of the high ticket uh, coaches, uh, one of the clients of quantum. And um, I do like a pros I do prospect uh, inviting her. I am inviting clients to join in her uh, uh, pub, uh, private uh, group. And at the same time, I am doing also like uh, setting an appointment. Uh, like uh, she has also uh, this thing about um, purchasing in incomes with the friend connector on the Facebook. So uh, so I um, managed also to uh, at least get, get some clients to purchase those uh, products that she has. And also beside, aside from quantum, I work also as a um, like a realtor agent, a, a virtual assistant, general virtual assistant and um, realtor in Massachusetts before for like uh, five, almost five months. And aside from that one, I work in Abu Dhabi for almost eight years and as a retail and um, if you know the brand of Valentino, yeah, I work there as a supervisor and admin, a retail assistant, and I studied also in Abu Dhabi mm -hmm. as a marketing management. Mm -hmm. So did I hear you correctly when you said you do actual sales as well as setting appointments? Yes, we do an actual uh, because one of the, my clients currently in Quantum, she has this uh, program and comes with a friend connector. So we at least uh, engage people in comes uh, because she posted something uh, on her uh, on her social media and in the other pages. If someone is um, asking if, if about they're interested about the product. So I am the one who's following about the product and give them the full information about on it. And um, we do an upselling also the program that she has. Mm -hmm. And when you say we, do you do that or does she do that? It, me, like uh, I am the one who's uh, doing that one mm -hmm. for at least a week um, for now, because um, I'm just going to tell you some uh, about the currently uh, in a week, we do selling like one or two, at least we do that one in a week for the products that we are selling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the booking appointment, I'm not really, um, I'm not, uh, that's not really my niche in comes to her uh, booking an appointment because um, we do a booking for her, not for free. So if we do a booking for her, like, uh, of course, uh, the coaches, they're really going to pay, but it comes 
with um selling the products yes that's the one that i am doing with her mm. and aside from uh, aside from her i, I have a uh, previous clients before yes i do also a setting an appointment but that one is uh dm mm -hmm. okay yeah. and what's the ticket price on the product that you sell Ah, uh, that one it's because we are on promo this time originally that one is 97 dollar but we are on promo this time we are selling that one with a 47 dollar mm -hmm. does it make a difference to your sales numbers whether when it's at 47 uh, we uh, that one is only for we call we have some clients we call VIP so we offer only that one for the VIP clients who purchase who or who get the program with her or for those people who get um program of one thousand nine hundred ninety five program for one month for her so there will be an up sale in comes with um a friends connector in her program. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're, so you're selling the yeah. you're selling the ninety seven dollar product usually. Yeah. And right yeah. now it's forty seven dollars. Yes, yeah, yeah. Are you selling more now because it's forty seven dollars, or are you selling the same amount? Um, we are selling only the forty seven, but however, the number is getting high in terms with selling because we have a, like a fifty prospect clients who purchase the one thousand. 900 program and what we are doing is especially me i am doing to add on the products that they usually have already in their program mm -hmm. okay and sorry just one more question and i will leave yeah, you sure no worries uh, yeah and if you already have a client why are you applying for this job um um i am just working only for uh for her for like four hours only four hours a week uh four hours in a day Four hours a day, right? Yeah. So I have a lot. I I still have twenty hours to do some other uh, to cater some other clients. Okay, but you're doing social media for her. Yes, but so otherwise I have like four accounts. Uh, my two accounts was assigned to her, and I have also two extra accounts. So at least I won't be blocked because it already happens to me that I got blocked my account like twice. So I have to create another one like as a backup. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if ever, if you will be giving me a chance to be part of your team, I have two extra uh, Facebook accounts that I can use to work with you. Okay, terrific. Thank you very much, Jenny. You're welcome. Okay, is it Lisa or Lisa? Hi, it's Lisa. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, how are you? Good, thank you. So can you tell me about your work experience and particularly appointment setting? Yeah, um, before I work, a, a medical booking appointment and my boss is a lawyer but he is just based on philippines or lo local only so in regards to my work we do since i was working as a uh, tracking services so mostly uh booking appointment for my trips only uh it depends as well on the places like uh, our rate it depends on the kilometers or the miles away from the location um from the distributor to uh or to the place that they need to um deliver that uh that particular product and as mm -hmm. well I was a but I was work with uh I've been there for almost nine months so mm -hmm. yeah just like a DM only yeah. and posting on Facebook as well so that we have uh clients to inquire by posting our a business through Facebook and as well DM and I was a content moderator before for almost seven months so our clients is from Amazon so our experience I mean our job before like only posting videos or downloading videos and pictures well it depends on the clients needed and I was work also as a customer service representative for almost one year and four months in a BPO company here in Philippines but my account is international, which is uh, I handling 21 states uh, mm -hmm. in America. I'm just going to pause you because this is not appointment setting. I want to ask you a question about the appointment setting with the lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, Were you okay. finding the people to book into those appointments or were people just calling up or, you know? Yeah, I'm um, also finding people and also people uh, contact us since we have a page and as well, we have a lot of um, accessories, like, I mean, 
we have a lot of few people known so that they are advertised as well our product so uh like it's the same we people call us and as well i do call for for them for their since they inquire us through our facebook pages okay terrific all right yeah uh okay and uh have you done social media management before, like Facebook groups, inviting, like building up your friends list of relevant people and all of those kinds of things? Yeah, yeah, I do also since our, I mean, since our, uh, the business of my boss is, which is related as well for the social media. So we do like uh, by posting it by group chats, inviting new people so that they are aware or I mean, it, it's very helpful as well uh, because since uh, we can invite a lot of people so that your our business will grow and as of that we have a lot of positive feedbacks when I was uh, a booking appointment before okay so you currently have uh, multiple Facebook accounts or only the one yeah I do uh, like three uh, Facebook accounts and I was like our pages and our personal account, which is we posted a lot of um, positive feedback from our customer. And as well, we have a different uh, Facebook account as well, which is for like our group, like what is the other things or necessity that we need to do to enhance uh, and to satisfy our customer. So that's it. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Leah. Hello, Jenny. It's nice to meet you. So when it comes to work experience, I have this three year sales stuff, um, sales stuff experience where I work at, in a company. It's not a VA, but in a company. So we sell technologies like cell phones, computers, um, laptops like that. So what we do there is we able to cater people what was their need about what product they need for an instance, what specs they need for a cell phone, for a laptop, and for a PC. So when is it this, comes to- Is this online or in a retail shop? Retail. Okay. So when it comes to appointment setting, so I have a lot of experience in appointment setting so i've done a lot of call cold callings so if a client give me phone numbers so i do cold callings for that and also book um whatever they wanted to uh, know about the business the business of the client so and you've also, done cold calling before yeah in what industry in this industry in and in ba so I also have client um, right now who I also cater cold callings, appointment settings, and social media. So okay. social, I manage his, I mean her social social media by um, posting into my other accounts. So I also have uh, multiple accounts in FB, mm -hmm. Facebook, and IG. Mm -hmm. And I also do editing for videos mm -hmm. for promotion of his, I mean her business mm -hmm. so you're doing appointment setting for somebody else through quantum already um yeah okay. uh, for four yeah. hours a day P pardon for four hours a day yeah for four hours a day so it's when um if you're going to give me a chance so maybe if you have time for mornings i have a lot of time in morning so i do this um SMM appointment settings and general um, what do you call admin admin staff to her uh, 2 p.m. I mean 3 p.m. down to 7 7 p.m. So um, Thailand and Philippines have same time, right? Yeah, so one hour ever, yeah. Okay, so uh, you have done appointment setting for the current client. Mm -hmm, yeah. How do you set the appointments? So if ever um, for appointment settings she'll give she'll give me um phone numbers to call and then ask for uh ask for what are they looking for the business and ask for their availab availability for 
um, business proposal about like that. So bookings right. like yeah Terrific. about the brochure, about the products. I mean the coaching session about the products like that. Okay, okay. terrific. Thank you. I'll come. I'll come back with more questions, but I do want to get this question answered by everybody. So uh, Sheila, can you tell me about your work history, Hello. particularly setting appointments and sales? Okay. Um. Uh. For, before being a VA, I used to manage my online business for three years. It is a clothing business, and in my in that business, I used to um, DM, uh, answer question entries in comments, um, join groups, uh, post an event regarding my um, uh, services that I offer. And by the help of Quantum VA, I uh, I learned the uh, lead generation. I I enhanced my uh, skills in lead generation, appointment setting, and SMS because I have the experience in my previous company, but it is uh, it is not it is uh, not enhanced. But by the help of Quantum, I I enhance it. Um, so when it comes to lead generation, uh, in getting more leads, it is crucial to have patience because you need to do some research. And also, I can help you to gather leads in different social media. You are using like Facebook because I have multiple accounts in Facebook and mm -hmm. in LinkedIn and in, also in Instagram. Um, when it comes to booking a, a, an appointment, um, for instance, we have leads. What I'll be doing is first to organize it. And when talking to the clients, even if it is DM or through call, I make sure to build the relationship first to make them feel comfortable. Afterward, <clears throat> I if I feel that they are good to go to hear our services we offer, uh, it is that that is the time I will introduce our services and how can I help them. Um, so, did you have your own it, business before, or was that somebody else's business? Uh, it's my business, online business. Okay, and what did that business do? Uh, it is it is a clothing business wherein um, I sell clothes in different groups. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and are you still um, doing that? Order, uh, sometimes, sometimes, but not since I have I have no stock of clothes right now. I stopped it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And do you have any other clients for, as a VA at the moment? Uh, as a VA? Yeah. Are you working uh, for no, other I, quantum clients at the moment? or? No, I don't have clients right now as a VA. Okay, terrific. Thank you. And Christine. Thank you. Hello. Oh. Hello, good afternoon, Jenny. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, so my work is experience is before um, joining the uh, as a VA, I worked as a customer service representative in a BPO company for five years, and then when the pandemic happens, um, I started working as a virtual assistant that was on Amazon, and um, I do the admin tasks, the uh, uh, doing the weekly, monthly reports, and uh, right, um, it was ended less. Uh, January 2022 and then right after that um, currently I'm working as a uh, as an appointment center outreach specialist uh, based in the U.S. it is a uh, digital media and marketing agency mm -hmm. so we do book appointments using I mean we look for people or a prospect using LinkedIn and we also use we're using also a CRM which is the, the name of CRM is Apollo so yeah so there are people in the crm from other lead sources and then you what do you do with the people in the crm so uh, first we do an outreach uh we do an outreach using uh through email we send it we send them an email then um right after that we have in apollo um we just call the task you can call them right after you send the email so we're going to follow up them through call so mm -hmm. that's it so um, usually book an appointment using uh, they respond through email or they're gonna accept our uh, we're gonna accept the I mean the appointment through calls. Mm -hmm. So by the way, what we do is that um, help nonprofits 
and then also business increase uh, a business increase fundraising efforts by promoting their programs like social media mm-hmm. and uh, we provide um, graphic design um, website design video development and social media marketing services mm-hmm. and you're currently working for this company yes i'm currently working that's based in the u.s but um okay. it's very flexible um once i've i've done my um it's like quota um like for example i do 50 emails per day and also um i also have um 650 to 80 calls i've done that already so my wide my job for that day is already done mm-hmm yeah, and yeah. also we have a quota for the appointment that's two to five per day. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so you're currently doing at least two appointments per day from your 50 to 60 calls, is it? Yes, because um, in the US, they do have um, some companies, they do already, they already have an in-house marketing team. Mm-hmm. So it's very hard to book an appointment. That's why my employer um, look for I mean, she, uh, he wants two to five only per day, mm-hmm. at least two. Yeah, at least two. And you make 50 or 60 calls to get those. Yes, yes. Right. That's that's very labor intensive. Yes. <laughs> but it's fine because it's very flexible. And okay. um, it's, it's, not, it's not that um, so um, toxic uh, work. It's like, a, yeah, it's mm-hmm. very relaxed work. Yeah. So how long does it take you to do the work for that company? Sorry, um, you're... How, how many hours per day does it take you to do the 50 emails and the 50 or 60 calls? I usually do that's um, four, I mean, that's six to seven hours. Mm-hmm. Any, yeah. Okay. So then you're looking to do four more hours? Yes, for four hours, because I do have a lot of time during the uh, day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so mostly you're doing that in the evening Philippines time, are you? Yes, it's time 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Philippine oh. time. When do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm used to it because I worked as a customer service representative before and uh, our client is from US as well. So I'm used yeah. to it already. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have extra fast, uh, multi- social media accounts? Uh, yes. Um, no, I only use my personal account, but if you need it, I can create one because um, in our, um, my current employer, uh, we use his uh, social media account, like okay. Instagram, his, um, the yeah, Facebook account, their Facebook pages, their Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay. we, we don't need the uh, multiple accounts, but if you need one, I can create one. Yeah. Okay. Terrific. Alrighty. Okay, so next question, and see if you can keep this brief because I don't want this um, interview to go forever. Um, so, what is your personal interest in emotional intelligence and personal development? Do you have any exposure to that? So, wh- have a think now of like, what is at least one thing that I can talk about from my history one piece of evidence that I can give that I am actually somebody who already knows some stuff around emotional intelligence and personal development uh Jenny um in comes with our uh, like uh the personal like problems or the, the situations um having a bre- breakthrough let me just tell you some one story uh when i got uh when i got like a divorce or annulment with my ex-husband it's such like a breakthrough that all that comes with the work the family it really affects me and also there's a lot of therapies or the what do you call this one like you have to involve with other person that you have to talk if it if how you can talk with them if how comfortable you are to talk with it to the someone that you don't know uh, it for me it's better to talk your problem or the situations that you have if you don't know really uh, personally to them because uh, for me they are, are they're willing to listen compared to the person that they know you that's for me. That's based on my experience because um, uh, those times that I have uh, having a struggle with my um, 
with my ex-husband so i have to uh to deal with it because i have a daughter so i am working so i have to uh, provide the needs of my family so it's very hard if you are really in your breakdown and you are going to work and um it's really it's really um you are not going to um because the that time my family is depending on me so it's very difficult if i'm going to share the problems that I have to them. So it's way better for me those time. It's way better if I'm going to uh, inform or tell someone that doesn't really know the exact what, ha what happened. So at least because of, because emotionally, um, they are going, because emotionally they're Sorry, going Jenny, to- Sorry, Jenny, it's, it's really interesting, but I want to make sure everybody gets a chance. So thank, sure. you, thank you for answering the question. I can see that you're interested and passionate here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lisa. Um, yeah, hello, Jenny. I'm so sorry. Pardon, please. Again, your question. Uh, what is your interest in emotional intelligence and personal development? Um, to be honest, I was diagnosed before with um, what we call this. Um, um so i'm like i was so depressed for almost three months and i'm having a mental breakdown because i am a single parent those were experiences really hard it's really hard i have a baby to feed i have that 11 months old but today she is already two years old so that time it's really hard i really I need to for that like mental like mental uh, mental breakdown are no joke. so yeah i always pray that lord help me to overcome this one help me to uh, give me the strength so that i'll be able to serve the broken version of mine okay thanks thanks lisa uh leah Okay, so for personal development, um, it is very interesting for me because it somehow so helped us. My mindset, so I changed, uh, and yeah, thank you. Okay. That's okay, Leah, keep going. So personal um, development for me is a very interesting one because it can really help you to be how, how to be a good person to everyone around you. So you have to know um, your aspirations, your quality of life, your dreams, your goals. So personal development really help you to mingle with people, to um, talk to people and how you in interact with them. So um, personal, this personal development is also when we apply this to work, it really drives us to be more um, somehow like productive. If we know our goal, we know, um, the mission of that kind of um, company, uh, the vision of that kind of company. So it is very helpful for us as person, this personal development. Great, thank you. And Sheila. Hello, um, for me, uh, emotional intelligence is I can, I can give my um, knowledge is about understanding. In one word, it's, it is understanding because you need to understand the uh one individual whether i uh some individual don't voice out their emotions so you know you need to understand they always say you need to put yourself on the shoe of other people so in understanding people you help them to grow to voice out their feeling and uh overcome their problems and for uh personal development is for uh for me is to uh empower empower individual and guide them when, when it comes to their emotion. Uh, give them the idea that they are not alone in um, overcoming those problems in life. Terrific, thank you. And Christine. Hello. Hi, Christine. Oh, we, sorry. We, we can't see you. <laughs> I lost my con um I have a um technical problem. I'm sorry. Yeah. What's was the so um what is the question again? Sorry, Jenny. Um your personal interest in 
emotional intelligence oh, okay. and personal development. Okay. So for emotional intelligence, uh, um, for that, um, we should know what they're feeling. Like, for example, the depression, that's the biggest problem um, worldwide. So we should know what they're feeling. And then also, um, we have to listen to them. And um, also, for um, if, like, if we can help them, we, what we can do is that we have just to listen to them. And then if we, have some, uh, if we can give some advices to them, then we can do that. And because uh, here in the Philippines, we don't have, we, uh, it's not, they we usually don't have the psychiatrists like that. Like, it's not the same with the other countries that they do that usually. So for that, what we can do is uh, they just to have a person that they can lean on. That's it for me. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Welcome. Terrific. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, Jenny, if I said to you, look, we need to get more leads, we need to bring more people into the system, we need to find people who might potentially be interested in my program, mm -hmm. what would you do? Uh, for me to, uh, for us, we're going first. We're going to invite people to join our groups, and we're going to, uh, like, uh, we're going to connect based on the niche that we have. Like for you, like the mental health or something. Like for the energy that we are going to have, um, we're going to connect those kind of people. So at least we have the same niche, and we're going to join also the same group or the facebook pages that we have the same niche at least we can get more leads to uh, to get the prospect for that it will be our client in the future mm -hmm. great thank you yeah. um let's see sheila where are you? there you are the, the pictures keep moving around <laughs> so um, sheila so if you started I'm going to gather more um audience in our so I was, if you started work for me, you know, in a week or two, and I had nothing, nothing at all, right? Okay. What, would, what would you do? So what I'll be doing is first is to create audience because uh, you say you have nothing. So we need to uh, um, make a group that will engage with other people. And I also know platform that we can use to gather more leads, like lead three, I lead scraper, uh, Snowvio that is connected to, to your niche. And that, that is the first thing I will be doing. Mm -hmm. well, which platform are you talking about? Uh, I, uh, the Snowvio, the Yellow Pages, the Lead Scraper, uh, that, that's all. Uh -huh. <laughs> so lead, lead Generation, to gather more leads. OK, terrific. Uh, all right. and. Jenny, what do you think would be your biggest problem if you were my VA trying to set appointments for my consultants? Um, uh, the problem for getting an appointment for them as it will not be a problem as long as we have the like the free session call that we can give for our clients. Uh, because uh, the only problem that we can get is if we are going to book them a call or set an appointment for them, if you are going, if we are going to have the, the limitations, like if they get, if we are not, uh, like for example, if this person have this mental problem or something, you want they wanted to speak something, but they cannot afford the programs that we have. So especially those kind of person, uh, we uh, we are going to give them a chance. Uh, to speak with you or to book a call but the problem if uh, we were going to have a problem if we don't have the free program like the free webinar that would be the problem it will be it's it will be hard to get an appointment because some of the people they are just going to talk with the coaches or you personally first before they are going to purchase the or to get the program itself okay so for you, the biggest problem would be if there wasn't a free thing that you could offer them. Yes. 
Okay. Because right. basically, as what I had learned in uh, QVA, because we have a training that one before, especially that's the one I am using also with my previous clients in QVA. Like, uh, if they already join the Facebook group, like a welcome. Hi, this is Jenny, uh, a personal assistant of Jenny. Uh, she wanted me to personally ask you. Uh, so welcome you to the, our page, something like that. And since that you joined, she wanted me to have a book for you for a free call. Do you have some plans for this week or next week? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Terrific. That's the usual that we are using. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, Okay, so Sheila, what do you think would be your biggest problem if you were going to be booking? Um, my biggest problem, I think, is um, since it is not face to face that you will talk to them, maybe there are uh, if uh, getting an appointment or booking them an appointment, the problem maybe would be there are busy, there are a many rejection, I think that would be the problem, but um. We are all human. Uh, we need to accept rejection is one way of learning. And I think that is the problem that I will encounter as a VA. Okay. So if there is a general thing, because people are generally busy, right? And they don't actually want to spend any time doing anything, yeah. right? How, how would you overcome that problem? Um. If they're busy and I need to talk to them, maybe I will um, ask for their vacant or uh, free time that's more suitable for them or comfortable for them to talk with. And that is the, if they're, they said the specific time, that is the time I follow up with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and is that a problem that you have encountered before with other businesses that people are just very busy and they don't want to schedule a call? Yes, I encountered that one, and um, just like in one time, I, I, I used to sell clothes, and that person who buy that clothes cannot be contact. And the thing, the one thing that I do is um, to wait patiently for her message to reply back to me, mm -hmm. and that's the time I follow up the order. Okay. And how do you keep track of the messages you're waiting for? Um, I'm, I'm using an organization or to-do list. For instance, uh, I, did not, I did not accomplish this specific task. I take, down, I take down notes so that it will be easy for me to track if, it is in, uh, if it's finished or if I need to talk with some, um, I need to follow up with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and you've been through the training in the portal, have you, with all of the different uh, platforms? I think you froze there for a moment, Sheila. Have you done all of the training in the quantum portal? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what would you say was your uh, favorite pr pr way of finding people and generating clients out of all of the ones that are in the portal? Um, what I love most is for uh, social media management and um, appointment setting. Since I, I graduated as an, educa I, an education, I, as a teacher, I want to talk with a lot of people <laughs> to enhance more, <laughs> more skills on communication for me. Mm -hmm. And I also follow kids for them oh. to connect, for me to connect them. Mm hmm Okay. Terrific. Uh, okay. Uh, and Jenny, have you been through all of the content in the portal? Yes. Okay. Yes, I've okay. done that one also. And also, like earlier, we have a training. It's really a big help for us as a VA in a quantum and comes with like the technique or the strategy it comes with uh, doing an appointment setting uh, in uh, DMs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, out of all of the platforms that are talked about in there and the different ways of, of finding clients, like what would, what's your favorite, the, the one that you find easiest? I like a jingle. Uh, 
job link like for example if like um if there will be some pages that they were just going to mention that let's connect and uh, i'm just going to drop the links with the group or the pages that we have and then i just mentioned that one because most likely some of the groups they will just mention uh, uh like they're going to mention their niche and let's connect something like that just drop your link here for your business and that's the that's my best part of it and if once they join already in the group that's the time that we are going to get the full information or we're going to connect to them in comes with the niche that we are going to have for them mm -hmm. so you're talking about making a post where you ask people to yeah. put a link to their business underneath Yes, some of the groups they do. Some of the group they post something like, "Let's connect." Um, what is the what's what's your product or let's just promote your product. So uh, in the comments, we are just going to drop the links. There's a lot because uh, some of um, I have two Facebook. I have another two Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Uh, most of them, like especially women helping women entrepreneur, there's uh, like a thousand of coaches is there and if, with a different niche. So I can see every day that they said that let's ju just promote, uh, just promote your business and something like that. So at least the, those um, comments also you can find the good leads that we are going to uh, to invite to connect with our business. Okay. Terrific. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, so now I'm just going to give everybody a chance to ask any questions that you have. Uh, so uh, let's see. Leah, do you have any questions you want to ask? None so far. Great. And Christine? Yes. Um I do have a question. So um, with your niche, um, are you going to be using um, any, um, what kind of platform are you going to use for your, um, for the uh, business that you have? Uh, so most of our activity is on Facebook. I do have a LinkedIn profile okay. and a YouTube channel, which oh. we maintain. They're not like my main channels, but we keep a presence there basically so mostly are we going to be using your um facebook uh, page for the uh, business or um I, I i will have to create an account for mine as well just in case um so i have groups mm -hmm. uh, so uh, to be active in those groups you would be your personal profile mm -hmm. um you can also post from my page so you can post as me mm -hmm. using being an admin of my page okay. uh, but when you're interacting with people when you're sending dms and stuff like that that needs to be you not me mm -hmm. okay all right uh usually um do you have also connects or followers on linkedin because um there are some also leads or prospects on linkedin yeah you know, I, have a, of... I have a linkedin profile um okay and I, I don't, I'm not very active uh, on LinkedIn, active on LinkedIn. But my, um, I have uh, had a VA who's kept that, okay, uh, kept that going. <laughs> All um, right. So yeah, but uh, the majority of the actual prospects that I get seem to be coming from Facebook. Okay. Than LinkedIn. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think that's my question. Sorry. Thank right. you. Thank you. And Sheila. Uh, none for now. <laughs> okay. I heard it from. Uh... Okay, Lessa? Uh, none so far, Jenny. Thank you. And Jenny? No questions? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right. Um, Noemi, is there anything else that uh, you want to ask or say here? Oh, all right. Well, uh, not on my end, uh, Jenny, but after you've chosen your VA, we will go ahead and schedule our onboarding. Okay, terrific. All right. Are you able to decide now or would you like to speak on it? Uh, no, I definitely need to think about this. Um, 
thank you to everybody. And um, uh, yeah, I'll I'll have a chat to Noemi and, and we'll see where we go next from there. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Angels, for joining thank us today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, thank Jenny. You, Jenny. Thank you, Miss Noemi.